Hey, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Fight the Flat Earth, the channel that holds stupidity's head underwater until that last little bloop. Flurfs will try to or misunderstand anything if it helps them prove what they want to prove. One of the things they keep doing is misrepresenting experiments done in the past. Today, on episode 4 of Explaining Simple Stuff to Flurfs, we're going to take a look at one of the most misrepresented experiments with the 1887 Michelson Morley experiment. Flurfs say it proves that the Earth is a pancake and doesn't move. Stick around to find out why they're fucking idiots. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. The gyroscope is an instrument that will retain its rigidity in space and should appear to turn if the surface it is on is rotating, such as the Earth should. So in fact, if the Earth were spinning at all, we would notice this movement in the gyroscope. However, we can see that we observe no motion. We are perfectly still and going nowhere. The Michelson-Morley experiment also found this as well. When the experiment found out that the Earth was not spinning, along comes Einstein to the rescue to make up his theory of relativity, which is just a theory and has never been fully proven. So that video is a perfect example of a typical Flurf misunderstanding. I suppose I should tell you exactly what the experiment was actually for. The Michelson-Morley experiment was designed to detect the presence of the luminiferous aether, a substance believed to fill empty space. The premise was that waves needed water, sound needed air, so light must need a similar medium to propagate. They named this medium the luminiferous aether. Michelson and Morley were well aware of the fact that the Earth was a globe and it orbited the Sun. So if the Earth was orbiting the Sun and the aether was real, the speed of the Earth would create an aether wind, similar to how there appears to be wind outside of a moving car. Marcus and Morley developed a device called an interferometer, which was designed to measure interference properties of light waves. The interferometer was designed to measure the speed of light traveling in different directions through the aether. By shining a beam of light onto a mirror partially coated with silver, it would make part of the beam go one way and part of the beam go the other way. These two beams would be reflected back to where they were split apart and recombined. By looking at any interference patterns in the recombined beam of light, any changes in speed because of aether wind could be detected. However, what was discovered was that the beams of light did not show any interference patterns and the only conclusion to come from that was that the aether did not exist. Now, this is where most flurfs get confused. Because the experiment didn't detect any aether wind, they seem to think that means it detected that the Earth didn't move. If it didn't move, no orbit, no spin, therefore flat, apparently. I have to mention that some flurfs do have some objections to more of the technical aspects of the experiment, but suffice to say, it all comes from a misunderstanding of what the experiment was actually trying to do. But if you would like a more in-depth explanation, let me know in the comments and I will do a follow-up video in the future. The results of the Michelson-Morley experiment helped lead the way for Einstein to discover his theory of special relativity, which I'm also going to be covering in a future video. So basically, if any flurf ever comes up to you and tells you that the Michelson-Morley experiment proves the Earth is flat and stationary, you can tell them they're talking absolute shite. The Michelson-Morley experiment had nothing to do with the shape of the Earth or if the Earth was actually moving. The only thing it did do was disprove the archaic notion of luminiferous aether and help increase our understanding of the universe in which we live. I really hope you've enjoyed this short burst of knowledge. Come back tomorrow where I'm going to have a similar video on why airy failure also doesn't prove a flat earth. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat earth.